Ja, beginnen. Kom maar. Staan. Alles counteren. Wie started out as a trainer and, and, and coach, and then we became friends. And now we are more like, you know, like, uh, how do you say it? Two peas in a, in, a, in a pot or something. And uh, everything is just having fun. It doesn't look like working, you know, it's just, okay. We are on a holiday for a couple of weeks and we do our thing. And on the holiday, we need to train a little bit. Oh, sometimes that's tough and hard and rough and long, but afterwards the, the, the fun is there. Everybody has a big mouth and butter is not around. And when butter is around, he's in the same room with butter. Uh, everybody's going to think twice. They're not going to have that big mouth they had before. You're going to feel it when he's around. Then you're going to feel his dark side. Rico is the sportsman, the fitter man, what they say from those two. Um, but I think my thoughts go to, I think Butter will, will, will knock Rico down. He's going to fight Rico. He's the one of those top heavyweights of this time, you know. But I think against yes, Butter is just something different, you know. So you're going to see a great Butter, but if you're going to see a better Butter than before, I don't know. <laughs> For me and him so far so good. Uh, it was a different approach as before. I think, and because he says, it's very good. He's very strong, uh, but not only strong. He can use his strength for his for his uh, for his fighting skills, and that's important. We focused on uh, stability, core strength, especially, and uh, endurance. Mijn gevoel over Badr is dat hij is heel goed, hij is heel sterk, hij is heel klaar voor. En ja, de rest weet je zaterdag. Yeah, it was a long preparation and now it's time to fight. Everything says it's time to fight, you know, so let's get it over with. <laughs> well, you've seen it on the Instagram and the rest of the social media. He's, uh, he's in a good shape, so that's not going to be the problem. It's also the mental shape that's for me more important. The mental state he's in, and the last few weeks, especially the last few days, he's in a very good mental shape. Well, I'm always a little bit nervous for these kind of fights, of course, you know. And, you know, every fight has a story, so I can't wait to what this story is. Well, we are prepared, and I think it's time. It's time to do what we are preparing for. So, I can't stop seeing this shit. You know what it is? We have been gewogen. I'm in the lichtbe vonden. Thank you. Anything can happen. It's a heavyweight fight, you know. So each punch can be the end. We punch a lot. Up. 
I can help you. Let's help him and then we bring uh, which one is yours? This one and that one. I like to come early, you know, just um, get used to the people and just blend in, you know, just enjoy myself and here, you know, get in my room, relax and get away from all the people and, you know, it's just uh, counting the days. No problem for me. I can relax, watch some TV. Now I'm going to sleep because fucking finally the day is over. Hey, how are you? Good. <laughs> yes, I'm good. I'm in shape. So now I'm gonna take rest, sleep. And uh, rip his head off. <laughs> hey, 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 no TMZ, no way. And I am not Rico Verhoeven. Ready for glory. Actually having it happen now and being here is mind boggling so I'm super excited. There's just like a buzz in the air as soon as you walk into this hotel, as soon as the fighters start showing up, it's going to be crazy. He's Nicky, he's a great champ, he's very strong. So I train for that, I train for the victory. Maybe it's gonna be an easy fight, maybe a knockout. I train for that also, so. As far as Botter versus Rico, it's gonna be one of the biggest highlights of my life. Can't wait to call it, I'm pumped up, baby. Uh, we got the women's tournament, of course, and, you know, the ladies putting it all on the line on the biggest stage in the world, showing everybody that, that we belong. And it's an absolute honor and it's something to be really, really excited about. What the hell did that banana tree do to you? There's tons of banana trees in Bali and I've kicked them plenty of times before just to see what it's like. But this time I was like, oh, let's film it and got the fight coming up. Generated a lot of hype, a lot yeah. of excitement. I got Insta-famous overnight. Right. Joe Rogan reposted it, right. that's huge. I have a good preparation, good strategy. I cannot explain the strategy, you know, because otherwise uh, Nikki gonna watch this movie. I sent him a message in, uh, in Instagram. What did you say? Please beat Murtel, then I will be the first one to beat Oskin. Ready for Collision Botter versus Rico. Hi, right, check it in, Joseph Valtellini. All right, man, I'm pumped, man, but uh, it's tough. The more I watch, the more I changed my mind. I originally went with Rico being that dominant figure. But the more I watch a botter, and especially that old stuff I've been watching of him, man, you can't count him out. He's got that power where Rico's that technician, so you can never count out that firepower that botter brings. So, man, we'll find out Saturday. Another day closer to the fight. And yeah, you know, feeling, still feeling fresh, ready, and excited. So um, I don't believe we have too much scheduled today. But normally, of course, I train twice a day, but um, so the schedule is a little bit different. Now I just, uh, throughout the day, I relax a little bit. Maybe I do a sh small workout or just jump on the bike. Hug sleep. Good? Perfect. Huh? <laughs> like a baby. I eat about like six to seven times a day. So it's always light food and stuff that just burns quick. You know, nothing too crazy. Mm, I love that, but can eat that. Bacon. What eggs it is. Butter's not really on my, he's on my mind, but in a, in a fight way for the rest, you know, like now I'm just chilling, gonna have some breakfast. I don't, I'm not really thinking about him, you know, I don't care about him. He just, yeah, he does what he does and I do what I do. So um, I just, uh, I, like I said, I just relax, get my, uh, get my mindset right. And then, yeah, you know, easily go towards uh, Saturday's uh, fight. If the if the crowd is gonna is gonna shout for bother, you know, in the end it doesn't matter. They're there. Without the crowd, we wouldn't be there. You know, so that that's the other mindset. And in the end, the people that are screaming for bother is gonna put pressure on him, not on me. So 
but let's see because this is the fight kickboxing has been waiting for and yeah we're just gonna push it to a different level now Dank u wel.